This video will show you how to add text on an image in WordPress. The first method will use the SeedProd gallery block, the second using SeedProd sections, and the third by using the WordPress cover block. Adding text on top of an image is a great way to show more information about photos or graphics. You can also use a text box over images to quickly create headers, banners, and online advertisements. Here I have a clean install of WordPress, and we should go ahead and get SeedProd installed first since the first two methods are using it. Let's head over to SeedProd.com, or you can click the link in the description below. I'm going to be using the pro version, so you can go ahead and click on Get SeedProd now and select the plan that makes the most sense for you. And once you have an account, we can click on Login. Great, on the left hand side, you can enter your email address, your password, and click login. Once you're logged into your SeedProd account, click on the second tab from the left for the downloads. And let's click the button here to download SeedProd. We also need the license key right here in the bottom left. We can click that icon here to copy that to clipboard. Let's go ahead and close this tab, and we're back in WordPress. On the left hand side, we have plugins, and we can go to add new. Let's come up top to upload plugin, and we can take this zip file and drag and drop it right here or you can click on choose file and select the zip file from your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click on install now and let's go ahead and activate the plugin. Great, I'm gonna paste that license key. Let's verify key. And you should see a green success message in the top right corner. I'm gonna close this tab at the bottom. So the first method, we're gonna be using the SeedProd gallery block. So we need something to work with. On the left hand side, let's come into the theme builder. And the theme builder has the theme template kit. So let's go ahead and click here. And these are full websites that you can import into your WordPress website instantly and then modify them with SeedProd. We can sort these if we like. And I'll go ahead and just select the basic one, the starter theme, and we'll import this. Here we can see all of the theme templates. Let's go ahead and enable this theme. And if we look at our front page, we can see a whole new website. Great, let's go ahead and get the gallery block inside here. We'll go ahead and modify the home page go to edit design and now we can put a gallery somewhere on our page. I'll just pick a random spot right here. Let's add a new section and we'll just add one column here. Great. On the left hand side, let's go to the blocks and we'll search for a gallery. We're going to go ahead and use the advanced gallery block. Let's click on this and drag it into our page and drop it. Here we can click on the block settings. So now under the content tab, we have gallery images and the type we have single, so you can upload a single image or we can do multiple. So for the first image here, we can click and expand this and we can open the add gallery images. Here we have our media library and I'm just gonna select five pictures that I grabbed earlier and I'll drop them right in here. Great, I have all five selected and we have the alt text, the title, caption and descriptions. For title, let's go ahead and put just animals and I'll create a new gallery. We have captions here as well, so you can add this for each one. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and insert gallery. Great, there we can see our images that we just added. We can minimize this for now, or you could add more galleries if you like. And we can go into the settings. Here we have our columns. Right now I just have five images. So I can put this maybe up to five, and you can see each one is just on the same row. We have some spacing here, so you can have zero spacing, or you can increase that if you like. I'll go ahead and keep these side by side with zero. For the link, you can select media file and this should open up a light box for each image when it's clicked on or a custom URL if you wish as well. For right now, I'll just leave it to none. We have the aspect ratio you can change if you like and the image size for thumbnail, medium or large. Let's go ahead and open up the overlay section. This is what we wanna look at for the text over the image. Let's go with a background overlay just to select this. So when you hover, you can see the default black overlay. So right here we have the title. This is the text that will actually show over the image. For each one, we actually added a caption. So if we select caption, you can see we have the caption appear over each one when we hover over it. We also have the description if you want to add something like that. We also have the description if you want to add that, the text color, and the background color. So for example, we could change this to something else. And when we hover, you can see that the overlay is a different color. As well, you can change the text color if you need to as well. We also have the overlay topography, so you can edit this. And if we scroll down, you can change the font family, the font size. So right now it's a little small. You can maybe make that a little bit bigger if you wish. And you can see how that increased the line height, letter spacing, bold, underline, whatever you want to add, you can format this however you wish. We also have advanced settings here. So again, you can have some topography styles here. We have some image border options here, so you can modify that. The border style, border color, border width, spacing, attributes, device visibility. So you can hide this on mobile or desktop if you need to and some animation effects if you want to add something like that as well. Let's go ahead and save this, and let's refresh the front page to see our result. If we come down, we can see we have our images, and when you hover over, 
you have the text over the images by using the gallery block. Great, let's take a look at the second method now, which is going to use the pre-made sections inside of Seedprod. So let's go ahead, we'll come back here, click on blocks, and then we have sections on the top left corner here. Let's click on sections. And let's look for maybe in the call to action. We can scroll down and find this one here. It's called call to action 15. We can use this as an example. Now you can create all these from scratch, so you don't need to use these, but let's go ahead and import this to save some time. Now this will import this into our website. It's at the bottom right now. And we can move this by clicking the little move section and dragging it up the page if we need to. But let's leave it here and we'll modify this. And you can see the options on the left hand side. Here we have the background style, the color, and the image. So right now we can see that big image here. Let's go ahead and remove this and we'll use a stock image. And I'll just search for something. We have some nice desert pictures here. Let's go ahead and I'll just select this one here. Great, now we have some white text here on a fairly light background. So let's go ahead and we can dim the background here. We'll just increase this. So it kind of pops off the page a little bit better and it's easier for the viewer to read. We have the overlay color here so we can change this if we want. So we can make it maybe a little bit of a color of the desert or you could go for a completely different color if you like. You can click on each element inside of this section such as the text for the headline, the paragraph text, the buttons here, or you can come to the blocks and add your own blocks here and design this however you like. Once you're happy with everything, just simply save this, come back and refresh your page, scroll down here, we can see that section right here. And there you go, that's the second method to adding text over a section by using Seedprod. Great, now the third method is by using the built-in WordPress cover block, and you don't need any plugins for this. So I've gone ahead and uninstalled all of the plugins. We're just using the bare bones WordPress. So on the left-hand side here, we have posts and pages. This will work for both. Let's go under pages here. And we have a sample page. Let's go ahead and edit this. Now you can put this anywhere in your page. We have a little plus sign here to add a new block and we can search for cover. And we'll click this one right here. Now we can scroll down and use media library here or upload an image. Let's go ahead and we already have this desert picture that we used earlier. Let's go ahead and select this one. Now we can put some text right here, just type it in. And we have some basic topography and alignment options here. Let's go ahead and select this and I'll just bold this right here. On the right hand side, we also have the block options. So if we select this cover, we can see we have a fixed background option if you want to turn that on. We have the repeated background. We have a focal point picker. Uh, you can add some alt text here if you like. And we have the color for the overlay. Right now it's a black color. So if we select this, you can select, for example, a totally different color and then the opacity here. You'll see that the white and black text here will actually change automatically based on how dark the background is. That's something WordPress takes care of for you. So we'll go back to the dark and we'll put this a little bit darker and you can see that turns to white. We have the size default. We have some padding here if you want to add padding as well as a minimum height of cover. If we come down, we have advanced for the HTML anchors if you want to add any and additional CSS classes. Once you're happy with everything, you can go ahead and save this or update this and we'll go ahead and preview this in a new tab. We'll scroll down and there you go. You can see the WordPress cover block with the text over the image. And that's the third method on how to add text on an image in WordPress. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. Hey everybody, this is Chris from Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.